ba ba da 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 bo ba 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 <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another whiskey review. I am of course your host Ginger Heat and this week I'm going to be talking to you about Takenoka, a Japanese whiskey. I've never had it before, never even smelled it. So let's crack it open and see how it is. I almost screwed up. Crack, crack. <laughs> All right, so Takenoka is apparently Japanese for the fragrance of time. What a beautiful name. Beautiful little bottle. Good looking whiskey. This one is from a small little part of Japan in the south and it's a tiny, tiny distillery, but it's been around for years. It's been around since the 1600s, but of course they didn't get into making whiskey until more recently, but I've heard really good things. And of course, Japanese whiskey still has like this mystery to it. It's kind of hard to get sometimes, especially over here in North America, but there's good reason. It's really good. You know, I don't think it's better necessarily than other whiskeys, but it is different and its uniqueness is what gives it its charm. <laughs> it's probably Norman's. Where's Norman? Uh, Norman is on top of the fridge hiding. He is not happy that I've stolen his cat tree to use as my light stand. All right, so now, the moment we have all been waiting for, or at least I've been waiting for, cracking this open and trying it out. So here we go. Fresh bottle. This thing comes off, boing. Ooh. Mm. It's very just, it smells like fresh, clean. You get that, some wood. It smells nice, light. Smells really nice. It's not like super peaty or super smoky. I know there's a lot of you out there that love that peat that pops the palate, but this is more about subtle. Hmm, subtleties. Smells really nice. Now it's time to try it. Hmm. Mmm. Very nice. Smooth. Tasty, not super overpowering. Still taste that wood. That's what she said. Super sippable. <laughs> Easy to drink. Mmm, very nice. I see why people say that this is just a great starting whiskey to introduce you to Japanese whiskeys. Because it certainly doesn't taste like a lot of the blended scotches or blended Irish whiskeys or American whiskeys, Canadian whiskeys, that you'd get. It's a little bit different. There's something about it. Mm, yes. It smells sweet. Yeah, it is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching my review of Takenoka Japanese blended whiskey. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fantastic. I'm really excited to get into more Japanese whiskeys. I'm also excited to bring more whiskeys to this channel from Ireland and from Canada. And if there's any whiskeys that you would like to see me try, go ahead and throw it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I am at Ginger Heat on all of social media, and I look forward to my next review and look forward to talking to you all again.